Welcome back to Surviving and Thriving, where we share with you the things that we have learned as we have transitioned our family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it, in the hopes that something that we share with you will help you, enlighten you, and encourage you as you transition your family from struggling to survive disease to thriving, right smack dab in the midst of it. When you're dealing with health issues, health challenges, sickness, disease, illness, you can have some really, really long and really bad times of suffering. You also can experience some things that your mind sometimes just can't comprehend, like, wow, I can't believe I have to do this. I have to endure this or go through this. Some of the surgeries that you have, some of the procedures that you have to go through, is just more than you could ever phantom at times. And um, it can become a little overwhelming. And there are times, right, in the process of going through these things that you want somebody to know what you're going through. You want people to, to understand that, you know, look at what I'm going through. Look at what I've had to endure. And you want people to feel for you and to care. You know, you want people to to feel what you're going through and that's normal I can say pretty much that most of us have gone through that or will go through that at some point in time the danger in that is being stuck in that and looking for pity looking for concern looking for people to care enough to to come and try to help you out right but the truth of the matter is they're not God. They can't alleviate that from you. They can't help you through that. Only God can help you through this stuff, right? Some things in life, you guys, only we can walk through. We can be married. We can have kids. We can have parents, but they can't walk through it. Only we can walk through it. It's our burden, our cross that we have to bear. Now, they can go on the journey with us, but they can't feel it. They can't carry this weight like we can. It's, it's really... They're accompanying us because they love us, but it's it's our it's our burden to bear, it's our cross to bear, it's it's our journey that we have to go through um, really by ourselves. And so that cry and that wanting people to to feel us, right, is basically coming from a couple places. It's coming from a place of this is too much for me. Somebody feel this thing, get in here with me, carry this thing with me, and they can't. It's also from a place of somebody pity me, feel for me, have, and there's a difference between um, empathy and pity, and we don't mind empathy. Empathy is is a good thing, but pity, we don't want anybody to to pity us, right? Um, and it, it's it's from a place of some wanting somebody to take this from you, to alleviate this from you, to to help you um, with this. Having those feelings is natural. That's a natural thing. There's nothing wrong with the fact that you're doing something or feeling something that's natural. What's wrong is when we get stuck in that mode and we start thinking, woe is me and everybody should help us. Well, we feel like now um, the world starts to revolve around us. I've told you over and over and over again, the worst place to be is to start thinking that everything revolves around you. When you start turning your perspective to everything is about you things get bad quickly, right? And everything you're feeling and going through is amplified and, and you don't want that, okay? So if you find yourself in a position, here's something that where you're thinking those things and feeling like, you know, hey, look at me, look at me. Here's some things that I want you to consider and things that I had to consider. I had to learn the, 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 the rough lesson and the hard lesson that this is my fight, right? My husband and my children are in this with me but this is ultimately my battle, my fight. It's affecting me, okay? And I can't punish my family if they want to go and do something that at the time I'm physically not able to do. I still have to allow them to go and enjoy their lives, to eat some things that I, I don't eat, right? I, I I have to allow them that because they don't have to 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 go through the things that I'm going through. And I don't I don't want to punish them because of what I'm going through. And I don't want to hold it against them because they can have have some things and do some things that I might not be able to do at a certain time. 
So that's one of the things I had to learn. The second thing I had to learn is that um, I can't depend on other people. I'm going to have to learn how to pull myself up, right, by my bootstraps. I'm going to have to suck it up. And I'm going to have to find ways to depend on myself. Now, what my husband do for me and my children do for me and other people do for me, I appreciate it. It's great. I welcome it. But ultimately, I have to be self-sufficient in the fact that I can't, if I'm not eating the things I need to eat, I can't blame someone else. I have to find ways. I have to find ways, you guys, create ways and figure out ways to do things for myself. The other thing that I had to learn is that um, help isn't coming in the sense that, you know, if I fall, somebody might come and help me to get up. But help isn't coming in the sense that I can't depend on any person to alleviate my pain, to alleviate my suffering, to alleviate my struggling. I also had to learn that I don't want pity. Pity does not help me in any kind of of way. And sometimes you may want to be pity because you want people to either help you financially, help you with something or to give towards you. I don't want pity. Pity is not going to help me. What's going to help me is to rise up and to stand erect on the inside and do the things that I need to do. So normally when people want to come and they want to look at me with pity, I have the tendency to um, shoot pity down, <laughs> right? and strive all that much harder to show them I don't need your pity. Pity is not going to help me here. I can't cash that in. It, it's not currency, right? It doesn't do me any good. So I have to, I had to learn that. And that's something that um, I had to establish within myself. I also had to look at myself and say that I can't pity myself and I can't look down on myself. I had to look at all the things that I'm going through and make a decision. Either I'm going to allow it to weigh me down and then I have to reap all the rewards of allowing that, right? And it's not rewarding to me. That's like punishment. I have to go down that entire route. I have to deal with the depression. I have to deal with all the things that ultimately spirals to death. I, I didn't want to do that. So I had to look at it and say, I'm not going to take that route. I'm going to take the route of a victor. I'm going to stand. I'm going to fight. I'm going to overcome. I'm going to learn how to do things for myself. I'm going to push my body beyond what I think that um, I'm able to allow it to, to, to push me to. Now, that sounds easy, right? For some people, you can say, well, that's easy for this person because that person's more functional than I am. You guys, I've been in non-functional states multiple times for prolonged times, years, right? And I've been in, in functional states for the same up and down, lots of variables, right? And in those non-functional states, bedridden, can't roll over, can't get up, can't do anything, and being frustrated because I'm hungry, there's nobody do this for me, I want my teeth brushed, who's going to brush my teeth, and all these different things. So I had to learn how to set things up so that I'm able to do for myself. I had to learn how to push myself past some things. And then there were some things that I had to learn that right now, I might just have to deal with it. Or I might have to find some other way to provide, to, to, to have provision with it, right? Never accepting anything as this is my final outcome, but knowing that there are sometimes there are some things you have to say, you know what, for right now, this is what it is. This is where it's at. Sometimes it just is what it is and what it is, you just got to deal with until it, you can get it to another place or another stage or another level. But at no time was it ever appropriate for me to allow others to feel pity for me or for me to feel pity for myself. I hope there was something in there that can help you um, to, to have the right mindset, to help you to endure whatever stage, whatever level that you're at at this time. But remember in all things, you guys, it is so important to do you, be you. Until next time, bye.